what's up? It's Dean Lion. Oh man, see, I love amazing stories. I love stories that are beautiful, that are nice, and this this, this makes me feel good inside. Oh, it makes me feel good. <laughs> so it says, when a dying boy's life support was cut off. He began improving and went home with his parents. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. A four-year-old has become the first patient known to British medical history to be taken off life support and proceed to get well, recover, feel better, heal. Oh my, that's amazing. See, God is great. When I hear stuff like that in my mind, that's God. That's the Lord out here working these miraculous miracles. This is amazing. First in history. Come on, where, 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 where did you come from? Where did you come from? Huh? 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 Well, that's my view. That's my opinion. Hey, my hussy. So he's home with his parents. <clears throat> wow. So, it says... This story revolves around a sensitive topic. Okay, so we're, you know, about terminally ill patients and decisions around, you know, ending their lives or things that consider, you know, can be big that can impact their world and people around them. You know what I'm saying? So it's interesting when, you know, you see that even through circumstances like this, you know, um, amazing things can occur anything is possible you know what i'm saying anything so have hope believe even when your situation looks dire scary bad like it can't change or like it's not going to turn around for you don't think like that there's a lot of beautiful things that can come out of you know your world and you know life when you have a good mindset a good belief system hope faith and better a positive way of thinking and seeing things in your world you just never know. The decision to take him off life support was ordered by the UK High Court. Wow. Following a hearing in which the boy's doctor said the artificial ventilation was not leading to any improvement, that his condition involving severe brain abnormalities continued to, you know, deteriorate and worsen. <sighs> Revert to his NR in the case for confidentiality. Justice Poole, the presiding judge, said it was a delight to see his this remarkable boy home with his devoted parents. And that's what I'm talking about. I, I admire a devoted parent. I admire parents who stick with their children no matter what. And that's not easy. It's not easy because, you know, you're probably seeing your child go through something you don't want to see them go through. It can be bad. It can be harsh. It can be terrible. But they are still hanging in there and they are showing up as parents and not giving up on their child. That's beautiful because some people will give up. Some people are like, I can't take this. Oh my gosh. It's too much for me. Yeah. Yabba dabba do. But for you to stick there and still be there present for your kid. Yeah. That's what D-Man likes. No, anything is possible, even if it might be going down, you know, or it might seem like it's not going to change. Know that things are possible. Things can turn around. You know what I'm saying? Once they took this young man off life support, he started healing in a very bad condition, a tough situation whereby he can lose his life. When you lose your life, there's no coming back. So to me, that's the worst. It reversed. So some of us are going through things where we might not feel like change is coming or better is coming our way. It will come. Believe, work towards it, and keep on striving no matter what.